Amsum was sitting in the park on a lazy afternoon, when suddenly his mouth opened wide and he let out a long mm. yawn. He wondered, why do we yawn? To find out, Amsum shrank and entered his own head. Inside, he landed near the brain. Huh? All around him, things felt slower than usual. The blood was carrying less oxygen, and the body seemed heavy and dull. It was as if everything was moving in slow motion. Suddenly, the brain commanded the body to yawn. The order spread quickly, and the jaw opened wide while the chest expanded. A powerful wave of air rushed in, sweeping Amsum off his feet and carrying him into the lungs as they stretched like giant balloons. Fresh oxygen filled the space and spread into the bloodstream. Red blood cells picked it up and glowed brighter as they raced away like messengers on a mission. Amsum followed them upward as they streamed into the brain. Neurons that had been faint moments ago now lit up brightly, firing with energy. As the jaw stretched wider and the chest pulled open, the wide stretch pushed the dullness out, and Amsum felt the whole space inside brighten and grow lively again. Finally, Amsum floated out. Now he understood why we yawn. Amsum was lying under the night sky, gazing at the sparkling stars. His eyes rested on Pluto, glowing faintly at the edge of the solar system. He remembered it was once called the Ninth Planet, but no longer carried that title. <laughs> Curious to know why, Amsum spread his arms and soared into space. He zoomed past Mars, darted by the storms of Jupiter, and glided over Saturn's dazzling rings. At last, he reached Pluto, a small icy world where the sun looked like a tiny dot in the sky. Omsum landed on its frozen ground. Suddenly, the calm silence broke. From the swirling Kuiper belt came a rush of icy debris. Huh? Huge boulders of rock and ice tumbled through space, making the orbit crowded and messy. Amsum quickly recalled the three rules of being a planet. The first was orbiting the sun, which Pluto did. The second was being round in shape, which Pluto was. But the third rule demanded clearing the neighborhood. Huge boulders of rock and ice were swirling wildly in Pluto's neighborhood. Pluto tried hard to pull them away with its gravity, but to no avail. Twisting and dodging, Amsum finally escaped the storm of debris. Catching his breath, he understood the answer. Pluto could not clear its orbit, and that was why it was called a dwarf planet. <laughs> Amsum was walking happily in the park when suddenly a throbbing ache began in his head. At first, it was light, but soon every step made it pound harder. Amsum wondered, what exactly is a headache? To find out, Amsum shrank himself and traveled inside his own head. He landed in a network of blood vessels and nerves that surrounded the brain. The brain itself rested quietly. But the blood vessels were beginning to widen and stretch. Their walls expanded like balloons filling with water. Around these vessels were sensitive nerves. As the vessels stretched, the nerves lit up like glowing wires. They fired urgent signals, as if sounding an alarm. Aumsum followed the flashes huh? and saw the messages racing toward the brain's pain centers. The brain itself could not feel pain directly. It had no pain sensors. Each message was like a drumbeat. And the more the vessels pulsed, the stronger the ache became. The storm of signals grew more intense. Huh? Om Sum staggered as the area around him throbbed in rhythm with the heartbeat. It felt like the whole head was echoing with pressure. The vessels kept stretching while the nerves fired without rest. That was the pounding headache he felt outside. Finally, Om Sum floated out. Now he understood what a headache really is. Om Sum 
was standing in front of a mirror when he noticed a small bump on his throat. He pressed it gently and felt it move up and down whenever he swallowed. Curious, he wondered, why do men have Adam's apple? Determined to solve the mystery, with a spark of magic, he shrank down and entered his own neck. He landed outside a structure called the larynx, or voice box. It looked like a tower made of cartilage, protecting the vocal cords inside. Amsum noticed that at the front of the larynx, two large plates of cartilage joined together. At the meeting point, they created a firm bump that stuck out. This was the Adam's apple. Then, a glowing portal suddenly appeared. The portal carried him back in time to when he was a baby. At that stage, the larynx was small, and the bump in front was barely noticeable. As he moved forward in time, reaching puberty, he observed that the bump stood out more. Coming back in time, as the larynx grew bigger, the vocal cords inside became longer and made the voice sound deeper. This was why men usually had deeper voices than women. In girls, the larynx also grew, but not as much. Amsum finally understood why men have Adam's apple. <laughs>